What is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a video I really I've never done before. Um, this is a yard sale haul. Um, oh, hi, Velcro. What's up? Oh, okay. Bye now. So, um, I went to my buddy Tristan's house. Um, I'm not giving his last name because privacy reasons. I don't know if he would care, but just privacy reasons. But um, I I got some pretty cool stuff. And then some other stuff was from my mom that she gave me. But this is going to be a yard sale haul. I got some VHSs, some DVDs, and um, some accessories, a book, and something special I'm going to save for the end, which is going to take a majority of this video, I bet. So I'm going to start off with um, VHS tapes first. Um, I got two v I got three, but I gave one to my mom for her because she loves it. It was a Charlie Brown Christmas VHS. But I got The Sound of Music on a VHS tape. Yeah, some people, and it's like in this nice, really like plastic clamshell. And some people are probably going to be like, why do you collect VHS in 2021? You know, they're outdated. Well, some people might not know, but VHS wasn't discontinued until 2009. And it was, and it was made in like 72 or 73. So it's stuck around for pretty darn long. But um, I like VHS. I do have a VHS player. Um, it's in my basement. I'll have to hook it up soon. Um, Sound of Music is a really good musical with uh, Julie Andrews and Christopher Christopher Plumbing, Plumbing, um, who actually died this year actually, or last year could have been one of them. But um, it's a pretty good movie. Um, I watched it back in grade school in music class, and it's a really good one. So, um, and this is a this is a special edition, by the way. So yeah, Sound of Music, and my second and only other VHS tape other than the one I gave my mom is a movie that a lot of people love. It's uh, it's Forrest Gump, obviously. Um, all of you know, you know, the run, Forrest, run, you know, but you know, it's about, it's about like a mentally disabled man named Forrest Gump and, you know, living his life, being bullied for having a low IQ and just being like a mama's boy kind of, you know, and then, you know, he meets a girl that he loves, Jenny, and then she ends up like betraying him, you know, or like leaving him to do drugs when she's grown up and, you know, he becomes a, he becomes a army guy in the Vietnam War. Just, uh, if you've never seen it before. Just really watch Forrest Gump. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, but if you've never, please watch Forrest Gump. Great movie right here. And and again, it's a normal it's a normal VHS too. It's got the cardboard sleeve and it's got the tape. So yeah, Forrest Gump, really good movie. Now on to all my DVDs. First off, I'm gonna start off with the ones I like the most. So these are not all the movies in this series. There's eight movies, but I got some of the Harry Potter movies. Um, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I've read all the books. I've seen all the movies tons of times, but I got Half-Blood Prince. I'm trying to go for all of them, but I got Half-Blood Prince, Order of the Phoenix, Goblet of Fire, which might be my favorite. It's my second favorite Harry Potter movie. It would be on like a lot of people's like downwards, but I really like it. Uh, my least favorite, but still pretty good, Prisoner of Azkaban. And then this uh, this widescreen fold-out edition of um, Chamber of Secrets. And I do have some of the other movies, but this is like ones I got at yard sale. Like I have, I have like three copies of The Order of the Phoenix, but like those are my mom's and she bought me my own set. So happy about that. And then the rest of my DVDs, I got Spaceballs, um, really good, um, John, uh, really good um, Star Wars parody. You know, Star Wars and Star Trek have both had parodies. Spaceballs was um, was a Star Wars parody. And then Galaxy Quest, which is a really good movie, was a parody of Star Trek, obviously. But, um, you know, it says Mel Brooks and John Candy, Rick Moran, and it says Dark Helmet, you know. It's just a fun parody of Star Wars. So check it out if you have never seen it. Uh, then I got, um, let's see, C conveniently enough, these are um, these are both the third movies in their series. I got the third Star Wars movies, um, Return of the Jedi, and then I got the third prequel, Revenge of the Sith. Um, this is definitely my favorite of the prequels and, um, you know, Phantom Menace was not that good. It's probably, it's probably my least favorite Star Wars movie. And then, uh, Attack of the Clones is okay, but I really like Revenge of the Sith. I think Revenge of the Sith is actually a pretty good movie. You know, all that crap. And then, uh, Return of the Jedi is obviously like the original, um, the original three, you know, New Hope, um, A New Hope. A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and then Return of the Jedi are my favorite three, um, with Empire being my favorite Star Wars movie. But um, I love both these movies, you know. 
Yeah, it really, really messed up scene where, when he kills the kids in this movie. Really messed up scene, actually. <laughs> Oof. But, yeah. Um, a movie I've always loved, um, and from one of my favorite comedians and actors, um, Jim Carrey's Bruce Almighty. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of Jim Carrey. Um, it came from the, you know, it came from the same dude who did Liar Liar, which also had Jim Carrey, Tom Shadvac, I think is his name. I don't know, but this is a pretty good movie about, you know, where Morgan Freeman plays God, and he gives um, this guy named Bruce um, God-like powers for a week, and he does it to, like, hook up with a girl or something like that. And uh, it's a pretty funny movie. If you've never seen it, though, I see. This one has 15 deleted scenes, so I'm going to have to... Gonna have to watch that out. Tom Tom Shadiak. Shadiak, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Bruce Almighty, really good movie. Um, one, um, another one, The Dark Knight. I love this movie. People say that The Dark Knight is the best Batman movie. I think Batman Returns is the best Batman movie. Uh, from 1992, but this is second right here. Um, really like this movie. Obviously, it's um it's one of the highest grossing superhero movies of all time. It's, um, I'm pretty sure it's the highest grossing Marvel, uh, no, not Marvel, DC movie of all time. And uh, Heath Ledger does a phenomenal performance in the movie. Um, sadly, he died, as you all know, he died like a couple weeks after this movie um, of an overdose. But, um, yeah. <sighs> phenomenal movie, man. Um, next up is one of my favorite movies from my childhood. Um, <laughs> I, I still love this movie. It's the Simpsons movie. I love this movie so much. I mean, <laughs> I love the scene in the opening whenever they're eating at the burger place. He's like, there's no wrong with a pig, pig wearing a hat. <laughs> you know, and I love the spider pig. Spider pig does whatever spider pig does. Yeah, but I don't, I'm good at impressions of my homers. One of my favorite impressions to do, you know, March. No, homie. <laughs> You know, eat my shorts, you know, or that's uh, that's my impression of Maggie. But anyway, um, I really love this movie. Um, since the movie, I love the opening. I love the, like, the beginning opening with Green Day playing and all that. I thought was pretty funny. But uh, if you've never seen the Simpsons movie, highly doubt it. I, I highly doubt it. I highly recommend it. Um, next up is a movie. Um, it did break box office records. It's, um, it was like the highest grossing R-rated movie. Yeah, this um, it became like the highest grossing R-rated movie. It surpassed The Passion of the Christ. Um, and it's a Marvel movie, and it's a, it's a Deadpool. Deadpool made um, made over $700 million at the box office, which is more, um, which is like, uh, it's made over, it made over 100, um, it made over 700 million, which, um, and then Passion of the Christ only made like 650 million, I think. So it's, so it surpassed, but then, it, then this got surpassed um by joker which came out i think two two or three years later in 2019 and that's that was over a billion dollars but um deadpool's a really funny and really good marvel movie definitely one of my favorite marvel movies um yeah ryan reynolds as deadpool is obviously freaking awesome yep. and uh that's it for my that's it for my dvds and my uh, my movies in general and then i got like one and then i got a book the book i got um this was from my mom and so were the harry potter movies and this one's from my mom also that she got a yard sale it's called incidents in the life of a slave girl it's um by linda brent it's a i have read this before it's an inspiring tale of um uh, of linda brent you know she it was like she became a slave right right as the civil war came she was like a slave like right before the civil wars whenever she got taken into slavery and uh you know, I I love these kind of books, like uh, especially like Twelve Years a Slave, because you know not to get political here, but you know I'm glad that you know we won and that you know we freed the slaves because the slaves were just treated like trash. They were completely like absolute trash, and we had no reason to treat them like that because they, you know, they were no different from us other than the color of their skin. But the color of their skin don't matter. It's it's the what's on the inside that matters. We're all human. I mean. But this is this is definitely a really good book. Um, I highly recommend. Um, I highly recommend it. It's um, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Linda Brent. And uh, if you ever see it on like Google Books, you know I highly recommend it. It's a really good book. And then I got one accessory. Um, it's a cassette adapter. You know the one that you put in the cassette. 
play it in like a card and you got the ox cord or whatever. So that's that. And then now for the big finale, I didn't tell you what it is, but I'll tell you it is 63 Pez dispensers. And I'm gonna go through each one and tell you what they are. Um, three of these are, no, two or three of these are unopened. But, but this is a Finding Nemo with a candy still inside it from uh, 2003, 2004. It's unopened. Um, I got all these from Tristan, my friend. But um, this is an unopened Nemo from like 2003, 2004 with the candy still inside. And uh, this is definitely going to be a collector's item in the future. So then my other unopened one is, um, is this Jack-Jack from like 2005 or something like that with, uh, with the candy still inside, uh, ironically. Um, I got Kermit the Frog. I got C-3PO. I got a Minion. Sitting right there. Um, I got Pluto from a. Uh, I got Pluto from a uh, freaking Mickey Mouse. I got Mike Wazowski from Monster Inc. I got Yosemite Sam from uh, Looney Tunes. I got a. I got a. I got like a sleeping um, Daffy Duck from uh, Looney Tunes again. Goofy from Mickey Mouse. Um, Garfield, got Garfield there. It's like a weird version of Garfield. I can't really explain like, you know what it is. Um, this is one of my favorites, definitely. It's Rex. This is Rex from uh, Toy Story. Rex from Toy Story. You know, oh Kermy. We got Mrs. Piggy. This is definitely an old one because the head will not stay up. This is definitely an old one, but it's got the feet. All these, all these have like the little feet, you know. Um, this is Aladdin. This is Aladdin. I got 63 of these, so, you know, that's why I'm, that's why I'm only saying, like, what they are and all that. Um, Yoda from Star Wars. Uh, Woody. I got Woody from Toy Story. I got Stormtrooper and Green Lantern. Um, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. From the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from 1993. Um, comic Book Thor. The reason I say Comic Book Thor is because, you know, it's obviously not the Chris Hemsworth version, but it's just Thor in the, like from the comics. Um, I got Bugs Bunny in a, in a golfing cap. Oh, no, it wasn't a golfing cap, just like a red cap. Um, Olaf from Frozen. I like. I'm not a huge Frozen fan. Yeah, shocker. But I like Olaf. I actually do. Um, Donald Duck. You know, I can't really do a Donald Duck impression, but you know, you know, um, I got um, a Hard Eye Smiley Face Emoji. Um, Pet Spencer's. Those ones are definitely interesting. The emoji ones. Um, oh, I got Merida from, uh, you know, from Brave. And, uh, speaking of, um, Scottish, um, I'm actually, um, I'm actually part Scottish. Believe it or not, my dad has Scottish ancestry, and I checked my DNA. I'm, like, 50% Scottish. You know, and I do like wearing kilts, and I do, uh, I do know a little bit on the bagpipes, not a whole lot, you know? But I can do it. <laughs> hey, yo, I can do a perfect Scottish impression, you know? You know, hey, all your viewers out there, are you watching this? I play good bagpipes. I'm not the best at Scottish, you know, I'm not like a fluent speaker either. You know, but whatever. Um, this is a very old um, Bugs Bunny. See, because the head's like, it's a very old one. Um, Dino, I got Dino from, Flint from the Flintstones. Oh, I got Garfield with a, with a hat. Um, I got Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. I couldn't find Phineas, but I think I did find, um, I think I did find their sister. I forgot her name, though. Um, we got Jesse from Toy Story. Uh, oh! It's the old booty cat! <laughs> uh, Tweety, and I did get Sylvester as well. But, um, this is, this is Tweety from, uh, Looney Tunes. Tweety is just adorable. Tweety's always been one of my favorite Looney Tunes characters, you know? Tweety and Sylvester, I always love. It's the old booty cat! Oh, here's my other unopened one right here. Um, it's um, it's Hammy from um, Over the Hedge, 
from like 2008 and it's uh still in stolen the wrapper yeah but um yeah it's hammy from uh is it is it no uh yeah okay yeah it is it's hammy you know the squirrel that steve carell voice that up there um we got randy aka randall from uh, monsters inc uh, my friend Tristan, he didn't have Sully, but he did have Mike and Randy, so I'm happy about that. Uh, we got, we didn't find Remy, but I do have Emil. I know all these characters in the back of my head. We got Emil, Emil, um, Remy's brother from Ratatouille. And Ratatouille is obviously one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, one of my all-time favorite animated movies. Always love Ratatouille. Uh, oh, we got Daisy Duck. Got Daisy Duck. Uh, we got Mickey Mouse with, um, I think on a skiing outfit? Yeah, with a skiing hat and skiing goggles. Uh, we got Poe from, uh, from Kung Fu Panda. We got another Goofy. Uh, oh, yeah, we got Perry the Platypus. We got Perry the Platypus. Uh, we got a very old, like, original Mickey Mouse. Uh, we got Minnie Mouse with sunglasses. Undertaker. We got Undertaker from WWE. Uh, we got Captain America, like, the original classic. From, like, the comics. Uh, we got one of the aliens from the Toy Story. The Claw. Oh, uh, we got Shrek. Oh, donkey. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Shrek kind of sounds Scottish. Oh, donkey, get out of my swamp. Kind of sounds Scottish. Uh, we got Daffy Duck and the Incredible Hulk. We got, um, is this Garfield's? Okay, no, this is just Garfield. It's just like the original Garfield. Oh, uh, we got Fred Flintstone from the Flintstones. We got, um, we got, um, we got Lisa Simpson. It was the only Simpson one that he had. Um, we got Stella from Over the Hedge. That's our other Over the Hedge character I got. We got Stella, skunk. We got Daffy Duck. We got Blue from Rio. We got another Daffy Duck. Oh, here we go. Here's Sylvester. There's Sylvester the cat right there. Uh, there's Garfield with, um, with airplane goggles. We got Garfield's girlfriend right here. We got Garfield's girlfriend. We got, um, Brainy Smurf from the Smurfs. We got, um, we got Taz, um, Taz the Tasmanian Devil. Wow, that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another minion. Got another minion. We got Donkey. Yeah, we got Donkey. Shrek. Uh, oh, look at this. Another minion and a sleeping bedtime Garfield. Alright, okay, I got two. I got three more, y'all. My last three are the, the Tears of Joy or Tears of Laughter emoji. Pluto and Batman. Okay, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.